With optional GPS units, car rental companies promise to keep you on the right road, but do they always work? We tested units from two leading car companies to find out. Powered by Magellan, the Hertz Never Lost is a beefy unit. The big screen and big buttons makes it easy to use. Let's do the Bronx Zoo. Never Lost called out directions well ahead of time, giving us enough time to get into the correct lane with plenty of reminders along the way. Calculating route. Right turn in 0.4 miles. In the end, we got to the Bronx Zoo, but not without a couple of detours. First of all, the Never Lost is permanently installed below the passenger seat dash, which means you have to take your eyes completely off the road to look at it. Making matters worse, Never Lost frequently referred to highways generically as freeway. Approaching left turn, followed by a freeway entrance on the right. What? Get out of here. This gets very confusing when you're trying to choose between a north or south exit or multiple roads at one exit. We got off the highway. It told us to do a loop and get back on the highway. Um, only there were two entrances, one for one highway and one for another highway. It didn't specify which one, so I just got back on the, the bigger, more obvious one, uh, which was wrong. This led us to one massive detour, right back into traffic. Worst of all, the only traffic option was a phone number to call. Not really helpful. What is that, a phone number it's giving us? That's ridiculous. Approaching the First of all, <laughs> it gave us a phone number to call for traffic. Avis's Wear 2 is essentially an off-the-shelf Garmin GPS unit. That means you can place it anywhere you want. We chose to stick it on the windshield so that you can see it while driving, a much more ideal placement than the Never Lost. Wear 2 is also much more graphical, kind of like a moving version of Google Maps, making it much easier to follow. However, we found Wear 2 had a tendency to wait until the last moment to call out upcoming turns. I mean, you could be all the way on the other side of the road. Turn left on 94th Street. That's a good example. Forcing us to make some pretty hairy lane changes. Turn left. Although the touchscreen is bright and easy to see, we preferred Never Lost's tactile buttons. And even though Wear 2 takes real-time traffic into account, we still hit a jam. But that's New York City driving for you. In the end, each unit has its advantages and shortfalls. But then again, they're both easier than what I use, which is Google Maps.